Cookies are small text files that servers create and then send and store in the browser of the client computer. Cookies are usually plain text and consist of name value pairs. What is unique is that when the browser makes a request from a website which has set a cookie into the browser, that cookie is automatically sent back to the site every time a request is made. To learn more about cookies, visit the official php.net website using the URL shown. In this video, we will show the creation of a simple cookie using PHP. Then we will test for the existence of the cookie, and if found, its value will be stored into a variable and used in our website. Begin by opening the Counts controller. Scroll down until the check for a successful registration code block is located. Within the code, where we indicate that the registration was successful, we will create the cookie. Our cookie will have four parameters, the cookie name, the value, which will be the registrant's first name, the expiry, which is when the cookie will expire, and to what part of the website the cookie will be visible. See the code for setting the cookie and specifying the values as shown in the video. Normally, the expiry is done using a series of calculations involving seconds. For example, 60 seconds times 60 minutes times 24 hours times 365 is one year. However, in this example, I am using the PHP string to time function, which allows me to enter a string of plus one year. I find this easier to type and more meaningful when read. Saving the code, I can now use the normal registration process to register a new user. After registering, I am using the web developer tool to view my cookies, and I can see that I have a cookie with a value that matches my newly registered user's information. Now I can write code into the site to use the cookie information. In my main site controller, I will check if a cookie exists that has the name that I gave to my cookie. If it does, I will gather the data from the cookie, but filtering and sanitizing the incoming values in the process. Remember the security rule of thumb is that you never trust data coming from the browser. Once collected, I will then go to my view code and find where the link is to the My Account option. To the left of the existing link, I will add a PHP code block to check for the existence of my new variable that holds the data from the cookie. If the variable exists, I will echo it into the view with a brief welcome message. Finally, I will add a small amount of CSS to make sure there is a clean space between the welcome message and the My Account link. Cookies are useful, but should never be used for sensitive data and should never be trusted.